with so many of us currently at home, now more than ever, our appliances are taking an absolute pounding. And in particular, the washing machine. Today's vlog, I am gonna be showing you guys the best way to maintain your washing machine and to keep it clean. It is really important, especially with the virus going around, that your washing machine is kept clean. So let's get into the vlog and show you the easy way of washing your washing machine. To your washing machines the first thing you want to do is take out the top drawer this is going to soak in the sink while we press on and clean the rest of the machine I'm going to do that now Now, with your drawers, what actually tends to happen is there's lots of nooks and crannies in these. So, because our machine is still quite new, it's not so bad at the moment. But, depending on the age of your machine, where there's lots of different gaps and stuff and crevices, you are going to need some sort of toothbrush or some sort of scrubbing device where you can get into the gaps because this is where kind of mould and mildew will build up and you do not want that in your machine. So any kind of holes that you see or gaps, just go over it with one of these or if you've got like one of these bigger dish ones, you can kind of maneuver it so that the bristles go into the gaps and that will get rid of any kind of mold or mildew that is lingering around within your drawer. Once the drawer has been removed, you are gonna leave that in the sink to soak and now we are gonna focus on the inside of the drawer. As you can see, look how mucky already my one is. Um, and I, I cleaned this only recently, so they do get really dirty quite quickly because a lot of um, residue builds up. So I have got a hack for this, which is a car sponge and you can push it in and leave it overnight. If you've got black mold on the top of your machine, that is particularly important to do. My machine currently is fine, so I'm literally just gonna be using a cloth and I'm gonna be using some multi-purpose cleaner. You can go ahead and use bleach, you can use white vinegar if you want a organic method of cleaning, or you can go ahead and use a bathroom cleaner. Don't put washing up liquid though in your machine ever, because it will break it. So I'm gonna use the multi-purpose cleaner today. And then you just wanna give it a really good clean over. Again, all of these gaps that you can see, these are really good to use, these good grips, um, or you can use a toothbrush, but if you have got these good grips, these are brilliant because they've got different attachments. So this silicone nozzle is really good for getting into the corners. So if I show you here, you can get right into the corner and pull out any detergent that's sitting there without damaging your machine because of the material of it. It's just like a silicon end. It doesn't, it's not gonna scratch your machine or break anything. And all of these bits here, 
it's just really good to get rid of them. Okay, you also want to focus and pay particular attention to this section here. This kind of, all washing machines will have this, it's like a where the panel is and then it attaches to the machine, there's this kind of like lip almost and that can get really clogged with dirt and dust and grime so it's really important to clean that as well. Again, for this I'm just going to spray my multi-purpose cleaner onto the brush, don't spray it directly onto the panel if you've got one of these panels because um, these are like sensor ones and it can break it. So if you spray it onto the brush and then just scrub along with the brush, that will remove any dust or grime that has built up in this little gap here. Okay, next up we are going to do the inside of the, if you take a look inside here already, because I use the tablets, that's like one of the tablets that is going all sticky inside the um, drum, like the seal of the drum, and you don't want that left there, it's going to end up absolutely stinking to high heaven, and again, that is just going to be an ideal breeding ground for bacteria, mould, and all sorts of gross things. So. Once again, we're going to go in with the multi-purpose cleaner. Like I said, you can use um, white vinegar or you can use bleach if you want. Make sure you water that down to the correct um, amount of water. You, you kind of need about half, a, for this you'd need half a cup of bleach to a whole sink of water um, and then just use a cloth. Or you can go ahead and use a bathroom cleaner. This is the one that I use here. It kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, it cuts through soap, scum and lime scale, and it leaves a brilliant shine. See, and already, now I've removed that, it smells like wet dog. And if I'd left that in there, the smell would have just got worse and worse and worse. And that's just from yesterday. So overnight, that would have been in the machine, festering away. These bits of like, um, well, you know, these residue bits from the liquid tablets that go in the machine. And then they just end up absolutely stinking. And then the washing doesn't smell nice. And like I said, it's just a breeding ground for so many gross things. So it is really important to make sure that you are cleaning those particular areas. Now we've done that, we're going to go ahead and do the outside um, rim of the drum. So again, I'm going to show you here, these can get really mucky, even though they're on the outside, you can already see there's like some debris and just bits that we don't want there. So, I'll use the bathroom cleaner this time for this one, just so we can mix it up. Once again, spray it onto the actual tool that you're using. You can use a toothbrush if you've got a toothbrush handy. And just go ahead and scrub the whole way around and that will remove anything that's lurking there. Because all of these things, what happens is, if they, it's like when I said to you guys about food and stuff underneath um, fridges and, and cookers, if you don't get rid of them, they end up um, becoming just an ideal source for bacteria and germs to thrive. So this is kind of similar in that sense. I know none of us are going to be eating from our washing machines, but... At the moment, more than ever, with this outbreak, we do need to keep on top of things like this and just make sure that everything is as clean as we can possibly get it. Okay, so you can then go over it with a cloth 
This smells delightful, it smells of blue flavour because it's obviously been in there with the dish soap and the blue flavour. Um, fabric softener, so you can do that if you want to do that. And now we're going to press on to the front of the washing machine. So we're going to do the door now here. This needs cleaning, this is really, um, there's lots of soap residue built up on the um, door itself. So for that, we aren't going to be using the multi-purpose cleaner, we are going to be using the bathroom cleaner. This is really good to use on the glass of your, on the door of your um, washing machine. So, we're just going to give that a quick spritz and let it soak for a second. And we are going to remove it with just some kitchen towel or you can use a clean, dry microfiber cloth. And this is going to come up so, so nice and shiny. Okay. See, and it just, it literally comes off with no effort at all. But look. And the thing with the bathroom cleaner as well is, because it kills 99.9% of bacteria, it's quite nice to use on the doors as well because you don't then need to go over it again and sanitise it, whereas if we were using something that wasn't um, killing the bacteria, I would advise that you go over it and sanitise it, especially at the moment, because this would be classed as a high traffic area where you have members of your household touching the door and opening it to put washing in. Next up, we are going to wipe down the front of the washing machine. So for that, again, I'm just going to use the kitchen roll and I'm just going to spray some of the bathroom cleaner onto it. And I'm just going to give the whole machine a wipe over. This will include the front of the panel. These bits here will get wiped down. And the bathroom cleaner is really, really good for this because it gets rid of any kind of soap. All of those horrible marks that sometimes can linger on the machine, it just removes them super quickly. We are moving it to the base of the machine. We are going to take this drawer off, as you can see. Again, there's that looks like fabric softener or soap residue. This is going to go in the sink with seeing there's some dirt on the bottom. This is going to go in the sink and have a nice soak with our top drawer, and we are going to press on to check in our filter, which is here. We're going to make sure that nothing's blocked in there and we're going to give that a rinse out in the sink too. That's really important that you do that because the filter can cause a multitude of problems with your washing machine. And the last thing you want right now is your washing machine breaking. Okay, so when you open it, you want to put something there because some water will come out. But let's see what... See? Let's see what, um, there you go, like magic, a two pence coin, some sort of piece of plastic, like my hair that's got all tangled, <laughs> the perils of having long hair, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, 
So um, let me just get the mop because that is a lot of water there. And this is why you probably want to get a towel um, to put down when you're doing the filter part of your machine, but just because you will get, it's not like tons of water, but you will get some water spilling out. But in general, um, wasn't that bad our filter. It's been worse. I mean, I've pulled all sorts of stuff out of the filter before, like bra straps and all sorts, but. Okay. So, here's our little collection from the filter. The filter itself has got, look, all of that is like gross. It's like old detergent and soap scum. It's really, it smells like blue flavor though. It doesn't smell bad, but it's gross. You don't really want that on the filter. So that is gonna go in for a soak as well here. And we can go ahead and wipe all of these sections down also. Again, these bits here, just go in with a toothbrush or your Oxo Good Grips just to make sure that you've got rid of all the gunk on them. And these are really good. Let me see if I can find one. Okay, so here, these bits here, if ever on my appliances you see like red bits, it's my nail varnish where I've dragged them off or where I've caught my toe, like it's my toe nail varnish. And if you, whenever I, I figured this out, whenever I try and wipe them off with a cloth, they just don't come off. But when I use, where's it gone? When I use one of these, pulling it off and that will shift in a second and it will be like new again until I stump my toe on it and get red nail varnish on it again. But the cloth doesn't seem to um, like shifting the nail varnish but these good grips seem to get rid of it. There we go. That I'm not so sure, I might have to, I don't know what that is, but, oh, there you go. It's getting that off as well. Ta -da! Oh, look, there's more nail varnish here. How many times have I stubbed my toe on this? See, guys, you're seeing, this is like real life clumsiness here. Every time you spot these little red flickers of nail varnish, you can be like, she stumped her toe again there. Jesus, fix it. I mean, how many times have I covered this in nail varnish? Okay. So let's just give this a quick rinse over as well. And now the final thing that I'm going to do with these is they've had their soak. I'm now going to fill the sink again with fresh water. And they are now going to go through the disinfecting process, which is with the bleach. So they are just going to be soaked in bleach for a little while while I finish off the bottom part of the machine and then they can go back on and then we will move on to the final phase of cleaning the washing machine. And just 
make sure that when you're dealing with your washing machine, make sure that you dry it with a clean microfiber cloth because it's got obviously all the kind of nuts and bolts and stuff. You don't want it, um, even though it's a washing machine and it gets wet, you don't want these things getting wet because they're going to end up getting rusty and it's just not ideal. It's not an ideal situation. So once you've cleaned, just make sure that you dry it off. Right, we can now go ahead and put our attachments back on to the machine. Again, just make sure that they're dry. Um, these have obviously just come out of their bleach water, so again, this would be a high traffic area of the dispenser drawer because people will be opening and closing it in order to put detergent in it <coughs> or fabric softener in it, and that will normally be on a daily process. So it's really important that you soak these in some sort of disinfectant, ideally bleach at this moment in time. Okay, and then that can go back in to its little home. There we go. And then we'll clip the base back on. going to do to clean our washing machines is we are going to throw in two dishwasher tablets. Um, ideally you want the like less high end ones. So two of those are going to go in. I'm going to put it on the hottest setting which will be a 95 degree wash and that is going to completely clean out all of the pipes, all of the inside of the machine. Um, you don't want to do this that regularly. Do it um, limit as much as possible as you do this. Usually just putting it on a 95 degree wash will be enough to clean it. Do the dishwasher tablets maybe yearly, don't do it any more than that because it could damage your machine. smash the like button don't forget to click subscribe if you are new here to the Haley's Health channel I'll be back again on Monday for our daily vlogs I'm so excited for that and I will also be back again on Wednesday for our lives where I will get to chat with you guys um, have the best best Easter look after each other stay safe stay hydrated and I'll see you all on Monday Mwah. love you lots guys <laughs>